I mean, until I go on, obviously, I'm just never going to get me out of it. It's, I have never been yet. <laughs> Are you waiting for that call up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask Jill who she got in contact with. <laughs> Hempo, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Arnold Clark Cup, already done and won. Like, what a perfect way to start the year. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, coming off the back of the Euros, with, obviously with the trophy coming home, it's nice to get another one um, and get that taste back. And hopefully, obviously, looking forward to the summer. But yeah, started the year off well, which is great. And how was it celebrating with the fans in Bristol? Obviously, you used to play there, yeah. but it just looked like absolute scenes on the night. Yeah, no, it was great. It was nice to be back at Bristol. And obviously, I've seen a lot of my old friends who came to the game as well. Just to be able to win that again, obviously, for the second year running as well. It puts us in a great position and we're all really confident. Reflecting back now, how much has the women's game changed just since you've been a part of it? It's been huge, right? Yeah, definitely. It's grown massively. I think even in the last four or five years since I've been involved, like the change has been like drastic uh, the euros was obviously the game changer and i think it's only now that you sort of realize how much it has done for the women's game and it's so nice to be involved and sort of see that change over the last few years what is the uh, the energy like in the camp though because you know world cups on the horizon mm -hmm. that's kind of the most exciting thing yeah in football course. yeah like the energy is great and i think knowing that we've got a major tournament like around the corner is incredible as well and obviously it being in australia is going to be just incredible and a lot of us girls haven't been there before also the women's game's grown so much that there's going to be so many eyes on it and it's, it's so exciting and like now's the time you want to be involved in women's football and it's great to be a part of and yeah just the energy around camp like you can feel like there's something special coming up australia and new zealand mm -hmm. obviously we're going to be staying put in australia have you ever been? Is this a new place I to no. take off? Okay. I mean, until I go on, obviously, I'm just never going to get me out of it. It's, I have never been yet. <laughs> Are you waiting for that call up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask Jill who she got in contact with. <laughs> but Australia, though, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Quite a long old flight, though, isn't it? Mm. Anyone that you'd avoid sitting next to just because they love a chat and you're going to be like, I want a little sleep? I would have said Jill if she was here. Like, <laughs> I've been on a flight with her before because she believes it to America and I was like, no, nah, I can't, can't <laughs> No more. I'm tapping out. I think out. everyone knows that if you sit next to me then you won't have to speak as much so <laughs> everyone will probably try to sit next to me <laughs> okay what's your what's your snack of choice come on do tell us if you're on the plane you've got a selection what are you reaching for oh well if i was being naughty i'm more of like a chocolate than a sweet person have you saved a seat for your new mate usain bolt oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, usain bolt <laughs> I haven't actually. I didn't ask if he was gonna if he was gonna come. He I might be there. Done. Honestly though, that photo so yeah. iconic when fast met faster. Obviously you being fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> Naturally. How was that though? Like, what did you guys talk about? You you've got to fill us in. So obviously the game finished and. Then my, my mate Bunny, obviously the number nine at City, she got a call because like, she's quite good friends with you, saying, and she was on the phone to him. And then she came off and she was like, um, Hempo, do you mind giving you saying your shirt? I said, What? She was like, uh, Yeah, he's asked for number 11 shirt. So, yeah, we both went up there and yeah, it, it was nice to meet. He's really nice, to be fair. Yeah. Um, he's lovely. And you guys are going to be looking great on the plane mm -hmm. and great on the pitch in the new World Cup kit. It's mm -hmm. amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. It's nice to sort of have a different colours now and again. Like, I quite like bright colours and obviously with the away kit, it's like, yeah, the blue's really nice. And I think feel like when you feel like you look good, you play good. So, 100%, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it'll be like that. And we've got to talk about that mural mm -hmm. in your hometown that went up recently. Yeah. That must feel so incredible that, yeah. that people made that for you. Yeah, yeah, it does to be fair. It's nice because every now and again I'll get friends from home being like, I just drove past you on my way to Sainsbury's and things like so, that. So they do what my mates would do and pull like silly faces and stuff in front of it. Yeah, well, I'm surprised it's not nice like one. a moustache or something <laughs> o over my face. My mum texts me like most days and it's like, it's still there. It's okay, it's still there. Still You've not got that. a beard yet. And <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's funny, but it's, it's, it's nice to have that. And I can't wait to go home, to be honest. To, to see what it looks like in real life. What do you do away from the pitch? Is Lego still on? Lego is still yeah, on. Yeah, OK. Fair. Yeah, it is. That Just before Lego. this, I was actually doing some of my rooms. So oh, were you? Yeah. I what always... are you making? Well, it's like this Harry Potter thing. Oh, so that's quite a big I one. I can't give it away yet. Oh. Yeah. Grand reveal though coming soon. Yeah, of course. What else do you get up to? How else do you like to kind of just de-stress for a bit? I normally just spend time with my friends. I'm always either going around there for dinner or they're coming to mine or we're going for coffee and things like that. Like, I enjoy doing that. And other than that, I've recently got a house that I'm just sort of doing up and... Oh, okay. Moment, yeah, so. how's that going? Yeah, it's really well. But I held off having guests 
just while I was trying to make it all perfect, but but now it's good, so. But now it's ready. Yeah, it's ready for everyone to come. You saying? Will he? Uh, yeah, he might Maybe. make a trip. Yeah, you never know. I'll have to give him a text later. Yeah. I haven't got his number. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Great to catch up. Lovely to see you. And you know, you've been popping up on Loose Women, Jonathan Ross. She's a TV star. <laughs> and I said to my boyfriend the other day, I want a teddy bear that I can just have when so I'm You've been away. dropping hints and still nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's bad. Um, 